All right. Good morning, guys. It's Tanya. I hope your summers are going wonderfully. We are in August. So here we are. But so a couple of things. Um, I know I wanted to go over Yapstack. Um, and unfortunately, when I went to go set it up last night for today's class, it they're changing it again. So I have some messages um, with their support team I'm waiting for them to respond to. So we are not going to go over that one today. Um, instead, we're going to focus more on Bold Trail, previously KB Core, um, going over how to set up your social media content. Um, I will try to explain it. Mine's already set up, so I'm not, you know, we're, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to show you where to go to get there. Um, and then a little extra bonus bonus, um, Bull Trail, KB Core, Core, whatever you want to call it, they offer um, a pay at closing um, lead service that is actually giving us some legitimate leads. Um, a couple of us have been on it and we're getting some good stuff from it. So I'm going to show you where to find that and what you need to do to sign up for it. And again, that's pay at closing. So, um, all right. So everybody can hear me okay? Pull up chat window. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, so Bold Trail, as we know, they changed it a little bit. They rebranded from KB Core, um, moved their little website around. If you're not using it, please, please get with Thomasina. Um, it's a great CRM tool. It has many, many features, um, lots of different functions. Um, when you get a new listing, it automatically creates all these templates that you can just push out email, social media, print. Um, I mean, as soon as the listing goes live. So it, it's great. You don't even really have to think about it. I do um, want to say one thing <laughs> about that now that you uh -huh. brought it up. Um, yesterday or day before yesterday anyway sometime this week an agent had texted me and said hey we're not on the company website and i said but the company website's run by kb core do you have your kb core set up and they're like no and i was like well it's not going to feed for you to be yep. you know your because it's it feeds off of kb core yep. that's where all of our websites come from and so they were like, well, can't you just put me on there without being KB Core? And I was like, no, I can't. It all feeds. That's you know, like the reason that it feeds is because it goes to your website to send you texts or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be directly to you for your email. <clears throat> it's a link. So you don't show up on our website unless you're with KB Core too. Correct. So, oh, Guadalupe is on here. Guadalupe, are you coming on Saturday <laughs> to the family fun day? <clears throat> Hey guys, hi. I, hi. I have been so tied up with other things. I have not decided yet. Okay, I'm going to put you down as a maybe just so we have a head count, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. No problem. All right. Go ahead. Back to you, Tanya. <laughs> That's okay. All good information. It's good to see you on here, Guadalupe. Thank you. Uh huh. Um, so anyway, so yeah, if you're not on KB Core, you really should be. Thomasine just said another great reason why. Um, so we want as much exposure and you want to make sure it's automated um, again. So one of the things that it does is it connects to, whoops, it connects to your social media. Um, you do need a Facebook business page um, and then it'll connect to your Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the things. Um, so once you're in, <laughs> I was about to say KB Core, but Bold Trail, got to get used to that. Um, once you're in there, you need to set up and connect all of your social media pages to them. Um, to do that, best way, go to marketing. You want to go to social right here. Oops, let me click on the right one. And then let me move this window out of my way real quick. Um, You've got over here, you'll see your connections. Um, cool. I'm not connected on LinkedIn. Let's see what it does. I must have let that one expire. Uh oh. Um, that's okay because that's good for us to see how it works, you know, for everybody to. Yeah, sorry. To I need to minimize. Okay. I finally minimized this thing. 
Um, it's not clicking on this one. Where did we go last time? Oh, duh. Okay. Sorry. I was scrolled down. That's why I didn't see it. Settings and preferences is where you want to go. And then you'll see all of your social media connections here. Um, so let's start there. And then we're going to go back to this screen because you're going to need to be able to do that. So when you click on, let me cancel this, click on edit. Um, you can connect, disconnect any of your accounts. I had my LinkedIn connected. I must, so it expires after so long that connection and you have to go in. It'll, Voltaire will start emailing you and say, your connection is about to expire in 14 days. And then every day you're going to get that email to remind you that you need to reconnect, um, the, whatever one it is. If you do not do it, it will disconnect and it will stop posting for you. Um, so make sure you, you see where it says expires. Mine is going to be expiring here soon. So when it does expire on that day, I need to go in and reconnect. Um, and again, it does email you every single day, uh, that you have a connection about to expire. So, um, I think that's the right LinkedIn. Let's see. Okay. So that's all you do. You connect, you put in your username and password, and then you allow it, you give it that okay, the token to go ahead and start posting for you. The second step in this, and this is very important, and I think a lot of people miss this, is that once you actually connect your social media account, you have got to turn that little knob on. You've got to click on that to allow posting. The default has it off. You have to turn it on. That is a second step. You got to do it. So if you're having any issues where you're not seeing that any content is being created or posted for you, um, double check, go into your settings, double check that connection and make sure allow posting is on. So, and then if you, for whatever reason you want to turn it off, you just click it again, but it needs to be that blue color. Um, click save, all good. So you'll go back to this screen. So now we are connected. I'm actually glad that I wasn't connected on LinkedIn. Um, so now we are connected. <laughs> so I was able to show that to you. Um, once you're connected, you need to go in and you pick what kind of content you want to be posted for you. Um, so go into the second little tab where it's article settings. Um, you want to make sure everything is allowed um, as far as the content. Um, <laughs> Twitter and I don't get along. I can't get into my Twitter, so I, I'm still working on that one. Um, but anyway, you can select how many days a week you want to post. Um, you can post them every day, but you got to be careful with that. Um, if you over post, your algorithm numbers go down. If you under post, you're not being exposed enough. So you really need to look at, pay attention to your insights on Instagram, on Facebook, um, the business page insights, see when most of your audience is actually logging on and active. It will show you that. And I'll, we'll get to that. I'll show you where you can find that as well today. Um, but you want to make sure that you're picking the days that you're going to get the most interactions and the most exposure without overdoing it. If that makes sense. Um, then you can go in, you can select, you know, what type of articles you want to be generated and posted for you through Bold Trail. So I've got them all clicked because I think they're all great. But if there's something that you don't want, um, a good rule of thumb is, yes, you want your business page to mostly be about real estate, but you also want to add extra valuable things, whether it be life tips, um, non-real real estate, like I have travel checked on here. Um, cleaning and organizing kind of goes hand in hand. Um, Self-improvement is a good one. You want a mix of content because if you're constantly just doing one thing, I mean, it's not going to look like a genuine person behind that page. And obviously we want to be genuine people. Um, but if for some reason you don't want any of these, say you don't want food, you do want to do just strictly real estate or and things related to real estate, you can uncheck these and it will not post articles in those categories for you. Um, again, once you select all this stuff, you're going to hit save. Now you're saved there. 
Um, it also has different posts for holidays. So if you want to um, post anything like, you know, happy Halloween or happy Mother's Day to all the dads out there, blah, blah, blah. It'll create these things and you can turn them on and turn them off um, however you want to. You know, if, if I guess if for any reason you want to turn any of these off, um, you can. Uh, obviously, I have all the Canada ones turned off. I, I don't have anybody from Canada on my page. And, um, and then I did generic, more generic stuff. Um, but you just go through and you select and, and it'll create the content for you. And again, it'll post it. Um, now you'll see in certain ones of these that, you know, it's only showing me Facebook and Twitter. It's not showing me LinkedIn. Um, sometimes the social media pages do not allow certain, certain postings. Um, like Instagram isn't even on here because a lot of this is articles with links that you have to click on. So it doesn't feed from Instagram. Instagram really is going to pick up any um, photos or videos from your Facebook page. Um, so you might have to create additional content to keep Instagram going. Um, but you'll, you'll see, you're able to connect your Facebook and your Twitter. Um, and then you save the settings there. So any questions? Am I going too fast? All good. We good. Okay. All right, so now we have where you can see that as generating, you have the content calendar here. Um, you can see that it's scheduled a couple weeks at a time. So you'll see the different postings going on. Um, another thing that it does do is, I'll show you my business page because this is cool. I like this. Um, this is my Facebook business page. I have it set up where we're, we're publishing, we're doing the stuff. You see core listing machine, circle picks, you know, whatever that is coming from bull trail. Um, so it's, it's consistently posting content, um, on the days that I've said, Hey, post the content content, but this is what I want y'all to see. So one other thing it does is it will post new listings that we have, um, in as far as coastal town. So as you see, <laughs> Nikki Aminesh's lovely, lovely, gorgeous, stunning house, new listing they just got at the oceanfront. Um, 2.7 million. And it looks like it's on yours, which is awesome. It is. It's so great. But here's the thing. I'm getting reactions from it. I even got text messages going, oh my gosh, that house is great from my friends and family and different people that have interacted with me um, that follow my page. So you see that it posts for you with the new listings and you can click on the link and it takes you to your actual, um, you know, it takes them to my page. So say somebody wants to get more information about it, it connects it to me, even though it is somebody else's listing. So that way I can get buyers from that as well. So that's pretty cool. And it's, and it does it all the time. Um, Rebecca's new listing here, uh, out in off of what this is, um, near Oceana. Um, that one automatically posted as well. And again, you get a lot of exposure from it. And then what I turn around and do is I share it from my, I go into my, you know, I look at my business page and then I share it from my personal page. Cause then you get even more interaction, even more exposure. Um, so it is pretty cool, but these are some good examples of what they post. Um, again, this is all, most of it is articles. Um, so if you want, you know, memes and things like that, we need to do, you know, we'll do another class on just Facebook and creating content um, and their content calendar through Facebook directly, which does feed to Instagram. So that might be, um, that's going to be a future class anyway. So, but yeah, it rolls through it. Um, it's a mix of content. It's a little bit of everything. It does some hashtags for you. So you can get into even more algorithms. You can add more um, to it as well trying to see what else we've gotten recently. Um, home deck, home decor, you got dream home, you know, so it's, it's, 
anyway, keeps you relevant <laughs> in the Facebook world. Um, if you're not doing social media, I have, you're going to have to, the world is changing that way. It has been changed for a while. Um, but it's, it's not going to stop anytime soon. Um, if you see here, y'all just saw me update my LinkedIn and it still says not connected. It does take a little bit of time for it to refresh and show up. So, you know, just check on it later in the day or the next day. And then if it still doesn't, um, it's still not showing, you can always click on their chat support and find out what's happening. So, and they're easy to talk to and they respond very well. Um, I'm, I'm chatted with them a lot. So just trying to get to know everything here. You're also going to see your analytics. Um, my business page is still young, so I don't, I wish I had a, some, you know, somebody else here that we could share the screen with that actually maybe has more of a Facebook following that is already doing this because then you're going to see a little bit more analytics than mine. Um, but this is also why I share from my personal page, whatever, you know, things that are posted to my business page, because I'm trying to get more engagement and more likes, um, and just more activity on the business side of things. But, um, you can get all of your information here so you can tweak, um, you've got, you can look at which platform is doing a little bit more for you. Um, that's that spike from the million dollar listing, $2.7 million listing. Um, but you do see where people are engaged and obviously you want them engaged so that you get more exposure. That's just, that's the way social media works. The more people interact with you, um, the more people you are going to show up in. Um, how do you do the listings? The listings are automatically done, Sam. Um, I don't need to set them up because I'm on bold trail and anybody else that's on bold trail, I'm going to see their listings. It's going to just post for it automatically when they come up. So usually I get, I see them post for me. I mean, most of our listings go live on Thursdays. So that's that's usually when it's either Thursday or Friday. I think Friday is when. It um, did you see Samantha's message? Yeah, she's, she's saying I'm not okay. seeing it on the dash on the social dashboard. What are you not seeing? Are you talking about you're not seeing the listings? I think she's saying yeah, she like, doesn't have like, set I can, up for the listings yeah. to go through her social media. Yeah, mine don't go to the social media, and and the company ones don't either. I'm. I set this up a long time ago and I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything. Let's, let's see. Nope. Got to turn that on. Okay. Did you try going here, Sam, where it says in market listings? Yep. Do you have any of this stuff like set up in my markets? Hit save Tanya. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I had that stuff turned on. You have it turned on. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. So mine will post. Do you like have the company? Day. Okay. I, I may know on your setup page, like in your actual um bold trail setup, do you have both your MLS number and the company's MLS number? Oh, good call. Show her that, Tanya. Yep, yep, yep. Good call. Good call. Um where did we go to that? That's that's up here. So check in, click on your little bubble picture, go to my profile. Um, it's right there at the top, agent MLS ID. Go down a little bit down. Right yeah, 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 yeah. So right here where you put your agent MLS ID, you need to, you can click on edit, put in your MLS ID comma, and then the firm MLS ID, which is 9274. Um, that way it will connect you to the entire coastal town listings check okay that, that makes sense me. yep i didn't have, have that, that sam is that yes, maybe I, it? it is yeah thank i didn't you. know what it was thank, thank you thank you for bringing that up because we've i set this up so long ago i forgot honestly i forgot about that so um but anyway always hit save <laughs> make sure it saves in there so if you do not have the coastal town connected to it that it's not going to be able to post the listings. Um, 
Okay. Let's go back to go back into social. Um it also can connect you. It's got a button to get you straight to design center where you can create um more content if you want to from them. They've got different designs that are already pre-populated. Um they got a lot of 4th of July, even though we're past that, but you see different ones here and you can create it from the design center and then post them, either schedule them to post or, um, put, uh, post them immediately. Sorry. And then what was I just seeing? I wanted to show y'all. Here's one of the listing kits. Um, so when you have a listing and you put it into the MLS, um, very quickly, you're going to get an email from bull trail that says your listing kit has been generated for whatever listing it is. When you go and look at it, you will see all this already automated content, um, for that listing. And you can just go in and make flyers out of it, or you can make a post out of it, um, print postcards, do everything you can, but it automatically generates all different options for you. And it's several different options. Um, so you don't have to go back in and double do it. Um, you can edit them, tweak them, send them to the printer. I mean, it does it for you again, super easy. Um, I'm going to go back into you. So any other questions or anything as of right now? No. Um, yeah. So I guess that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It just again, make sure you have, see how this has been updated now. So you see it's connected. Um, just make sure you connect your social media Again, Facebook, it can only connect to your business page. So if you don't have a business page, uh, you need to create one. You need to create one. It's one of my pet peeves. You should always have a business page. Um, all right. And then the second thing I wanted to kind of share with you guys is <laughs> um, my agent finder, which has been amazing. So, um, Bold Trail, again, get ready to call it KB Core, um, actually offers a couple of different lead services. Um, goodness, sorry. I am. They changed everything. And oh, more. Did they change it again? Marketplace. Sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Marketing and marketplace confuse me sometimes. All right. So anyway, if you go click on the get leads tab, click on marketplace, click on the get leads, you'll see different things that they offer um, to get you some leads. A lot of these are going to cost you money. And obviously we like things that either are free or leads that you get at the end of the deal. Um so the one that they offer is this one here, my agent finder. Um, you get the referrals. We are getting, again, I'm, I'm getting some that as usual may not respond or kind of trail off or leave you on red. Um, but I actually am working a deal right now. I've got a house under contract that came from them already. So, and I get a lot I've gotten a lot of leads from them. Mo you know, there's a few that I've had to nurture. It's also, I'm getting seller leads, not just buyer leads. So you're getting a little bit of both. Um, uh, someone else actually has a listing coming up that came from them. Um, so sign up for it, sign up for it. You pay at the end, just like you do any other um, lead source that we try to get and offer to all the agents with us. Um, it's very easy. You, you basically, you just want to, Sign. I'm already signed up, so I don't, you know, I can't really walk you through that whole process, but it is pretty easy. Um, 
once you go through and put in all of your information and your office information, you need to put in Thomasina's information, the firm's information. Um, they'll schedule you for a uh, Google Meet call, I believe is who I went through. It was Google Meet, but you're scheduled with a call. You're a live call with one of um, their welcome team. And they walk you through how their website works, how, what they expect as far as follow-up, updating the lead statuses, um, communication with them. And they are really great about it, actually. They actually do uh, respond and reach out and say, hey, you know, um, I had one, they actually reached out to me this morning because I have one that was not responding um, to any calls, texts. And they were like, Hey, do you still want to work with this person? And I said, yep, absolutely. I'm still trying to get in touch with him. And they said, okay, we'll follow up with him too. So I, I really, really like them. And I've been on a lot of these, uh, lead services and they've been really good. So definitely sign up for it. Um, but it's agent, my agent finder, um, they get the calls in, they'll send you a text and email and ask you, hey, we got a lead for you. Um, do you want to accept it? And then you just say accept and boom, you get their information. Occasionally they do transfer you live just depending on who the person is and what they want to do, um, where you would take the call right away. So you definitely want to save their number in your phone to answer those calls when they do come through. Um, you pay at the end, you pay at closing. Um, it's your normal, as of right now, it's a normal 35%. Um, if the amount, I believe it's under 150, it might be a hundred thousand. It's a 25% that you pay at the end. So pretty cool. Um, you don't pay up front again. This is the referral agreement. It's, they're very transparent. They're open. They, they got everything right here um, in your face. So you can read through the agreement prior to even uh, working with them, you know? Um, so it goes over the contract. I'm trying to see if it has the amount. I knew it was on something I signed, but I don't remember. It might've been what they sent me individually. It was on the individual one. Yeah, it was on the individual one. So um, that's all there. So let's see if it says anything else I haven't already said. Um, they had these other ones. So there's an, there's an, I think it's this leads 360 buyer. I found yeah. my personal. And so it's um, below 150 is a 25% referral fee and above 150 is 35%. Okay. So it is 150. I couldn't remember if it was 150 or 100. Um, so yeah, so if it's, you know, if the deal is on the lower end of things, I think that's pretty reasonable, <laughs> you know, they reduce the, the fee for you. Um, but anyway, it's very standard fee. 35% is what most of them are. So, um, thank you. This one, I think is the one that reminds me of Zillow. It's, it's pretty expensive. So anyway, sign up for, yeah, stick to the no upfront cost one. It's yep. definitely, um, got good leads on there. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been great. And what did they tell you, Thomas, Tina? I think they, they told you that they weren't too saturated here yet. Correct. Is... Yeah. yeah. They're not very saturated here at all. Um, and they vet them very well. So, um, mm -hmm. definitely sign up now before everybody else gets a hold of it. Yep. Sign up now. And I'm going to tell you, I get, I usually, I've been getting about any, anywhere from two, right around two leads per week from them. I think I've only had one quiet week, um, since I've been on it. So it is consistent. So anyway, but anybody have any questions or anything? Cause because of the yap stack issue, that is pretty much all I had for today. And we have plenty of time left. <laughs> so.
No. All good. All right, I guess everybody's good. I'm gonna, I guess I'll keep it short and sweet. Let me, oh, you know what I can, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, before we get off of here. Um, so you know that your insights are on Bull Trail for their content and what they post, right? I just showed you that. Um, but if you have other things, so I also had Yapstack posting for me, which I did like because at one point they did things that I was getting, thank you guys, things that I was getting interactions on, like memes and the funny stuff. Like, honestly, that's what I got the most reactions from was their, their more humorous posts that they had. Yapstack is, an, is now an AI generated content. So I guess maybe it was before, but anyway, they're still working through things, but I had different multiple things. Um, if you're on any other CRMs that post for you, stuff like that, um, they probably have their insights on their own insight page. But if you want to see everything as a combination, you want to go into your professional dashboard on Facebook or um, I believe Instagram is very similar. Um, but it'll tell you how many, what's going on. Um, let me see. So you'll see your page overview. If you click on see details, um, it'll break it down as far as how many people saw your post, how many people were engaged, um, if you have any likes, followers, reactions, uh, any link clicks, which we've had a few, um, shares. Um, yeah, a lot of times that's me because I'm sharing my own stuff. Um, so a lot of stuff that you can find out. So that's on your page. Then you have the content. So you can break it down if you're trying to figure out what you need to post, what type of content you need to post to get the most reach. You will see, please connect, do connect the firm's um, MLS number because those really do get the most engagement, the, the new listings. Um, but you still want to give other information. You still want to give more um you know, more info than just listings, but these are always, they've always been consistently my highest, um, either engagement or reach. I mean, I got more, it's weird because I got more reactions on the million dollar listing and I didn't get anything on the townhome that was listed recently, but that's, what's getting engagement. So just because they're not liking or commenting or doing stuff, it, you're still getting that exposure and you want to keep an eye on this. Um, cause obviously you want to keep posting stuff that is going to continuously get exposure. Um, list reports is another thing that I'm getting, uh, good engagement with when I post that. Now keep in mind, this is also why I put, I, I share, I go back into my personal Facebook feed and I share my business posts. Because these ones with the most um, are also ones that I've turned around and shared on my personal because I've just got more of an audience on the personal and I get more re intera interactions on my personal page, but you got to have the business page. So some people, it's easier for them. They might get great reaction on their business pages. Um, I get more reach, engagement, responses, you know, all the things I get that more if I share it from my personal page. So just a little tip. Um, but anyway, that was one, but the list reports are great. If you're not utilizing list reports, please do so. Um, ask, ask me if you don't know what that is, don't know what we're talking about or anything like that. Just please reach out to me and we'll get it straight. But anyway, there's that cool thing is audience. It also shows you, um, what your audience is, you know, I've got mostly women. Well, it's a little eve, it's even ish, but it's mostly women. I can see the age groups that my audience is in. I can see where they're from. Um, and you see all the places that they are from. So anybody that has been reached recently, you know, majority is Virginia Beach, and then it breaks you down to other people um that look at my page, but anyway, that kind of goes over that. Um, 
all of this other stuff on the Facebook dash Facebook dashboard, uh, we are going to do in a later training class. So stay tuned to our Facebook group. Um, stay tuned to emails. Uh, I believe, you know, obviously we do text, um, and we tell you what's going on with training. So that will be coming soon. Let's we'll go over all of these different features with your business page and how to actually take advantage and do it. So cool. All right. Well, if nobody has any questions, then I will let y'all get off the call. <laughs> thank you so much, Sonia. All right. Thank you, Thomas. And thanks for your input today too. Yeah. That was great. Thank you. All right. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Let's see if we can go.